Hi, I'm Peter Charles of Hooked Fly Fly Fishing, and today we're going to tie the Riley. Now, this is an interesting wet fly in that it uses two tags. If you've never tied a fly with two tags before, this is a very good first one to try, because it also has a wool body, so it makes uh, some elements of it less critical. If it was a combination of floss bodies, it starts to get fussier. So, let's uh, get started and look at the materials. Our hook is a size 8 uh, traditional wet fly hook. We're using black A at all for the thread. We're using a small tinsel in silver. Our second tag is black floss. Our body is white wool. The throat is brown hen. And the wing is gray mallard. So, let's get tying. Okay, I've stopped my thread part the way down, and we're going to start the tag here. And the reason for that is I'm going to wrap the floss over this tinsel tag. So I start it uh, with enough room. And this is a beauty of using wool, is I'm going to be able to cover over a lot of this with the wool without having to worry about lumps and bumps. Let's get that out of the way. Now I'm going to tie my floss. So I'm going to work it back and then I'm going to work it forward. Going to build this up a little bit so help out with the uh, white floss. Okay, bring that back there. So we're tying our white wool. Now we're going to advance forward. all the way. We don't get too close with the first pass. Too close to the eye. And we'll bring that back out to the floss tag. And I'll start forward again. Okay, let's take a minute to see what we've done here. We've got our silver tag our black floss second tag, and then we've used the white wool. And because the body wasn't particularly even, I've been able to use the wool to fill those gaps. It's one of the nice things about using wool, and I've made three passes. This is a pretty common construction approach that I take whenever I'm dealing with a wool body. I don't get too fussy about what's going on underneath because I have uh, the means to fill that space up using the wool. Okay, now for the throat, we're going to use brown hen. Now for the wing. Try and uh, even up the points as much as you can. We're going to make that wing about the length of the hook, maybe just a smidge longer. Make sure it's centered. And we whip finish. Finally, for some head cement. Okay, there we have the Riley. A fairly straightforward fly, except for that uh, additional second tag. And as I say, keep in mind with uh, wool bodies that you do get the opportunity to cheat a little bit from what goes underneath. You don't have to be super neat with it. You can use that wool to fill in any spaces. So, I think it's an attractive looking pattern. I think with the white body, it'll do quite well as a bait fish imitation. So, give it a try. Cheers.